On this week's boiler tip, we're going to take another look at the linkages um, and look at the starting positions of the arms because by adjusting the relative starting positions of two linkage arms, we can make it open faster at first and then decelerate or we can make a linkage arm open slowly at first and then accelerate. So by adjusting the, the delivering and receiving arm starting angle, we can make some big changes. So let's check that out. If we start with a driving arm almost parallel with the rod and perpendicular to the receiving arm, what you'll notice is that a lot of the initial travel of the driving arm is upward. And that's not a vector that's going to greatly influence the receiving arm. And then as the driving arm gets more vertical, more of its, more of its vector of movement is lateral, and that's going to drive this much faster. And in addition, the receiving arm is going to become more perpendicular, and it will accelerate even further. So what we we'll, should see here is a very slow initial movement and a very fast ending movement. And that's beneficial if we've got uh, a lot of excess air at low fire and we need to get it lined up uh, to the full open position when the butterfly is at the full position. So let's watch that operate. So the receiving arm is really hardly moving at all here. And the driving arm is moving as expected. Once the arms approach an equal angle, the travel is going to be approximately equal. And as the driving arm approaches vertical and the receiving arm gets more horizontal, we'll see a drastically accelerated finish to the travel. So in this layout, we've got the driving arm vertical, so we're going to get initially a lot of vector towards the receiving arm and because this is almost aligned with the driving uh, rod there it's going to spin surprisingly fast as we turn and this will give us a rapid initial opening of the air damper if it was connected to this and, and the benefit of that may be that we may have a light off position that's fuel rich for reliability but the moment we come out of low fire we want to give it a good amount of air to compensate for that and to get us on track. It is really important that this driving rod never be in direct alignment with the receiving arm because it could flip and travel the wrong direction or jam. So we've got to leave a minimum angle here so that we, we, it, it doesn't get in that predicament. So let's watch this drive. So we can see how rapidly that receiving arm is driving the jack shaft relative to the driving arm. And as the driving arm approaches alignment with the rod there, its travel is essentially going to stop. So it is important when we use a method like this that we may have to restroke the mod motor or adjust the relationship of these arms so that we get the full 90 degree travel and we don't get any jamming anywhere. So basically these are tools we can use within the limitations of linkages just to improve the relationship of gas and air through the curve as opposed to being good at low and good at high and, and somewhere off in the middle we can put these biases in the linkage to really fine tune and optimize combustion.